right, students. So, uh, today we are here to start another lesson. And we're going to do another lesson from English. And yes, the name of the lesson is Junk Food Should Be Banned. Now, what I'm going to do is, first I'll read out the entire lesson for you. And then we'll, we'll start explaining stepwise. So, the lesson is Junk Food Should Be Banned. Now, here yes, a student is telling, giving some, sharing some information about junk food. So, I'll just read it out for you first. And then we have exercise, we have uh, question and answers, we have fill in the blanks, which we will be doing later. Right, so here is the lesson. We all know food is the most essential thing for any living beings. Everybody in the world, such as human beings, animals, plants, microorganisms, need food to survive. In fact, the food which we eat is a factor in our existence. Everybody should be aware of the food which we take. Health is the most valuable property. We know that the health of anyone is determined by the food they eat. So, there is a strong relationship between food and the health of, the, of people. It is the time of information and technology. People are too busy in their days, in their day-to-day -day lives. They are always feeling tense to manage their time. In this context, junk food has become the common and global culture of the people. Junk food is now available all over the world. We see it everywhere in grocery stores, department stores, fast food restaurants. Television advertisement makes such food look appealing. But I strongly urge that junk food contain little nutri nutritious value. These foods are high in calories, fats, sugar, salt, or caffeine. Junk food can cover cereals, candies, chips, cookies, cheese, puffs, biscuits, noodles, french fries, gum, ice cream, sodas, cold drinks, and most sweet desserts. There are various problems with junk food. The main problem is that they have high satisfactory value. That is why so many people consume it even though they know it is not healthy. Another problem is that junk food tends to replace other more nutritious food. Similarly, an increase in consumption of junk food is directly associated with the increase in obesity, heart disease, high blood pressure, certain types of cancer, and tooth decay. Fats from junk food trigger the brain to want more food. This effect can last for several days. Mother who eat junk food while pregnant or breastfeeding have children who are prone to obesity. Children are also more prone to diabetes, raised cholesterol, and high blood pressure. Additive and preservatives, such as common food dyes, can cause children to become more hyperactive and easily distracted than usual. If children eat junk food regularly, it is likely to lead them to violent behavior later in life. Okay, so this was the lesson about junk food that I just read it out for you. Now, what, what the book is trying to tell you is that here, a student is giving emphasis to ban the junk food. Now, why he wants to ban the junk food is for the betterment of all other students and, in fact, everyone. Today, yes, junk food has become a very, I mean, common food for everyone. This world is changing. Like, it's, it's changing in a very rapid pace. And people are all busy. You see, like, most of the people, like, they have to wake up early in the morning, go to work, come back, and then, like... They have very less time for the children. They have less time for uh, their family. And they, in fact, like they don't have enough time for themselves. So what basically what people are doing is like get up in the morning, rush to the work, go to the office or like wherever they work. And then like uh, their, their life has become different. It's become so competitive. And we are forgetting certain things. So what people are doing, what we are doing is we are focusing on easy food, easy stuff. So junk food, it's easy because it does not take a lot of time to prepare. It's basically 
ready-made food. In other words, junk food are ready-made food. But why it should be banned? It should be banned because of its adverse effect. Now we know there are variety of junk food. I'll show you some pictures. Okay, there are varieties of junk food. So here you can see in the picture some of the junk food. <clears throat> it looks okay there. On top you might see conditional sentence. Uh, conditional sentences are statements discussing known factors or hypothetical situations and their consequences. We'll come to that later on. Uh, that was to remind you, like this is the grammar section which we will be doing. Anyways, back to junk food. So people are consuming junk food because it's easily prepared, it's easily available and it looks very attractive. Even televisions, okay, they they show the junk food in such a way that it's very appealing. And just look at the picture there. It is appealing. Like It looks very tempting. Okay, like we feel like, oh my God, I miss those burgers, those chicken fries. Okay, the potato fries, all those things. And it's very tempting. And these junk food, like are, they, they have adverse effect on human health. So the, because of this adverse effect, now that we are facing a lot of problems. Problems such as like hy hyperactive. Okay, besides being hyperactive, there are other disease like heart disease. Now you see those candies, those uh, ice creams, chips, fried chips, potato chips, okay, like all those things. And so all these things makes the junk food attractive and even the television companies or like uh, the advertisement department, they make it look very attractive and people fall for it. Okay, like especially the smaller children, like children of your age, they fall for it. And when you fall for it, what happens is you would you people want this, uh, more more of junk food. But to keep in mind, it does not completely fills our stomach. Our body needs certain things, a balanced diet, okay. And our body needs carbohydrates, protein, fats, minerals, vitamin. Okay, these are the essence, some of the nutrients that our body need. But do these junk food contains these things? Yes, it does contain. Okay, it's not that junk food, junk food does not have like uh, carbohydrates or fats or protein, but the amount is excessive. Okay, it has only certain types of nutri nutri nutrition in, in it. And these nutrition like does not fulfill the nutrients that our body need. The nutrition that our body needs, it's not met. These food does not meet the nutrition that our body needs. So this food, what it does is it triggers Okay, it, it's, it has an effect that it makes uh, children want more of these food. They feel hungry most, most of the time. Okay, the kids like even if they eat one whole lot of burger, after some time they feel hungry. And this leads to obesity. Okay, like uh, this leads to obesity. People, students or children becomes like fat, more body weight. Okay, uh, our body uh, should have like certain weight, certain height. According to our age, height, weight, and age should grow, uh, go in a proportion. But people, children consuming junk food, their body is not in proportion. And there are, I would like to show you a picture. The making of junk food, one, like making a pani puri. Okay, like these junk food are not that easily available in our locality. But this, this is how some people make pani puri, which you love. Okay, like we discussed in class also, pani puri. Okay, and we love it's, it's it looks so delicious. But how is it made? Okay, now is pani puri bad? Why is junk food bad? Because it contains preservatives, and those chemicals are not good for our health. In addition to that, like another picture would show you, like these junk food. Now there you see. Okay, it's it's not covered. It's in the shop. It remains open. So you know the consequences, like the germs it carries. Okay, the housefly. It carries and like this is the result consuming junk food this is the result like you know I mean look at the shape we don't want to become like that so we need to avoid junk food why was that like the girl okay she was supposed to be sweet she was supposed to look cute but look at her shape and look at her stomach what is her stomach filled with look at that boy's stomach what is it filled with fries okay coke soda okay and look at the girl like same thing and why is this? It's because of junk food. In addition to that, it also affects our heart. Okay? It causes heart disease. And that is not the picture of heart. That is not the, the shape that you see. That's not heart. 
heart, the shape of the heart or the picture or the diagram of the heart. This is the picture of the heart. So it affects our heart as well. And it affects circulatory system. That means our um, when heart is affected, then it, it affects circulatory system. And when circulatory system is affected, then people suffer from pressure, high blood pressure or low blood pressure. Okay, it is related to heart. In addition to that, there are some other effects as well. It also causes cancer. Okay, like some food, they use color. Okay, dyes. Okay, like food, people, when they sell food, like if you go to the shops, like the food, they lo it looks very attractive. Like you saw the Pani Puri or like Laddus or sweets that we get in the shops. It looks very colorful. Even the, even the vegetables, like if you go to a hotel or restaurant, like the, f uh, the food itself looks very attractive and it tells our brain that the food is tasty and our brain falls for it and we find it tasty okay it may be tasty but there's a lie hidden there okay and these this dyes or the color which is used in the food it causes cancer it can it can be one of the reason for cancer which you will be studying in higher classes one of the cause of cancer is non edible color which is used in food and people use non edible colors just to make it attractive and then it also causes tooth decay okay like the candies the soda the coke okay that we drink our teeth is supposed to be like this okay it's supposed to be it's a beautiful smile like when we smile we, should, we don't need to hide our teeth because it's beautiful but continuous intake of junk food okay will make your teeth look like this which you don't want okay yes it is yucky okay so why did this happen? It's because of the food. Our body, every cell in our body needs food. And it is up to us what kind of food we give to our body. What kind of food do we provide our cells? Okay, junk food is basically only for tongue. So what about our teeth? Do you, do you want your tongue to be happy all the time with tasty junk food and your teeth to be like this? I don't, I don't want this. Okay, and I don't think you want this. So when we eat food, it should be for our entire body, not only for our teeth, or sorry, not only for our tongue, but it should be for our entire body. So in order to eat, in order to uh, provide nutrients to our entire body, we need to consume healthy food. And what are healthy food? One of the teacher, she has done a video. She's made a video of healthy food, most probably of class five. I'm not very sure. You can like have a look there it's uh, it's a beautiful chart and healthy food so you can get more knowledge and healthy food does not mean expensive food okay healthy food are the food that is locally available we have spinach we have vegetables we have pulses we have rice we have milk you know like i mean we have um, so many fruits like around us okay many people think that healthy food is like expensive food no dear students in fact junk food are more expensive way more expensive than healthy food so back to the consequences of junk food so this is one of the consequences or one of the result of junk food regular intake of junk junk food like it decays our tooth it it like uh, it looks horrible and we don't want to consume junk food and look at the picture there and addition to that like another is raise it increases the cholesterol level uh, the level of cholesterol in our body Okay, cholesterol are unwanted fats. Now there are two types of cholesterol. One is one which we need and the other is uh, harmful for our body. So we will not go in detail with cholesterol because you'll be discussing about that in your EPS classes. Anyways, back to this. So it increases the level of cholesterol in our body, the junk food, because we consume uh, junk food, which is especially like fries. Okay, and all those pictures that you saw and that has the adverse effect and when this cholesterol is increased it becomes difficult for the blood to move and our blood needs to move travel uh, to different part of our body from our head to toe and like this cholesterol hinders the movement of the blood and as a result people may have heart attack okay in addition to that when we think of kids okay kids like we, we imagine like when you think of kids imagine a small kid then usually we imagine a kid somewhat like this okay somewhat like this oh my god what a wonderful like beautiful kid like cute kid 
Okay, this is our imagination. Or like when we imagine like a student of grade 8, 9, 10, 11, then our imagination is somewhat like this. Okay, oh, what a beautiful student, like so cute and all those things. And this is because they do not consume junk food. But you may be thinking, sir, I have seen her eating once in a while. As I told you before also, several times in your class, like once in a while, our body can digest, but not every day, not a habit. So when we look at these kids, like, oh, like, yes, they are cute, they are nice. Look at these kids now. Sorry, these kids, okay? So they are so adorable, so cute, okay? So this is the picture we imagine when we think of kids. But the kids consuming junk food, okay, they are aggressive. They are hyperactive. They, are, uh, they, they, they cannot concentrate for a longer period of time. It affects our brain. Dear students, junk food also have, like it also affect our brain. Not only like our body or our tooth or our heart, it also affects our brain. It makes, uh, uh, it is according to the survey, junk food, still kids like consuming junk food, they are aggressive in nature. That means they get angry just like that, very fast, which, which is not normal. Like, I mean, yeah, we do get angry. It's, it's fine to get angry, but not like in small things and like every now and then getting irritated, getting angry, getting aggressive. That's not our nature. So this is what we imagine when we think of kids. But kids consuming a lot of junk food. Here you see kids consuming a lot of junk food. I mean, we don't imagine kids to be like that. Okay, like aggressive anger. Okay, like fighting. And this is not the nature. We don't imagine kids to be like this. But junk food causes kids to become like this okay and so after knowing all these things what do you think should junk food be banned well personally i think it should be banned but what if it is not banned so we can ban junk food at least for ourselves we can tell ourselves at least like we can tell ourselves like no i'm not going to eat junk food Okay, so even if, if we are able to do that, it, it makes us, we are able to ban junk food. And sir, but it's available there, we said we will ban junk food and junk food is not banned. But it is banned for me, like for myself. So that way we can take a step, you know, who knows, like if we, I mean, in fact, like if we stop eating junk food, the factories will have to think of something else rather than making junk food factories needs to think of making some healthy food okay so it will be banned okay eventually it will be banned so this was about junk food and the consequences the adverse effect of junk food here we have some exercise which i'll show you here and then you can pause the video and copy this exercise and then like you can do it in your copy uh, TV advertisement, I hope you can see that. Fill in the blanks with the words given below. And the words are harmful, violent, appealing, calories, global, culture, obesity, additives, preservatives. And the first one is, I'll read it fast. Uh, TV advertisements for junk food look very dash. Number B, junk food are low in nutritional value but high in dash. Pop music, junk food have become, sorry, pop music and junk food have become dash. The increase of junk food is directly associated with an increase in dash. Children who are, number E, children who are used to taking junk food are likely to become dash in, uh, dash later in life. Junk food is very dash to help. Now the words are given there. You need to fill in the blanks and you, do, you need to do it in your copy. And then we have question answers. Answer the following questions. Question number one. Name some places where junk food are easily available. B. How is junk food defined? C. Despite being aware of the disadvantage. Despite being aware of the disadvantages of junk food. Why do we eat them? D. How can you say that junk food has become a global culture? E. What are the two major problems with junk food? F. Do you agree that junk food should be banned? Write your opinion. So what do you think whether it should be banned and why do you think it should be banned? Like a small paragraph on that. And 
Um, so that's about junk food and the exercise that you need to do. I have small information, and that is our school uh, for for your YouTube question answers and like different questions you may have. We have opened a Facebook account, and you can search for the uh, for Facebook by typing Joseph Kotara Hami. J O S E P H K O T A R A H A M I. Joseph Kotara Hami at the rate gmail dot com, or you can you may even get by searching Joseph Dash Tara. So you may get from there as well, the Facebook page. This, uh, this Facebook is for the students, for all the students, so that you can come there. And as I told you, we may be live sometime and then we will give you the time. When we are live, we'll inform you. And then like uh, when we are live, you have questions, uh, question answers or whatever you have to ask, you can discuss with the teachers, ask the questions, and, uh, and, and we can uh, discuss all those things. And yeah, for any, uh, you may also post your answers and if you have any confusions, you know, I mean, we can do a lot from there as well. So search for your Facebook, uh, school's Facebook, where we can discuss about your problems related to your exercise or anything. And I'm running out of time. Actually, I, uh, I mean, running out of time in the sense like I wanted to make this video slightly, I mean, within 20 minutes, but I, um, I crossed my time. It's 20, 21 minutes already now. So this is what happens when we consume uh, healthy food. Okay, now you can see this picture. This is when we consume healthy food. So I would suggest all the students to consume healthy food.